Um, as you all know, the, all over the country we're recognizing the beginning of the most significant con conflict and the greatest threat to our country ever. We don't like to say that we're celebrating the beginning of the Civil War, but we are recognizing it as a major turning point in our country. Often Delaware is overlooked in this story because there weren't any battles fought here, and um, it's often assumed that we went easily and willingly into the Union. Both of those perceptions are really quite far from reality, and we hope that this exhibition will help people. If it wasn't for DuPont's efforts, the United States would have to scramble to find gunpowder. They would scramble to have to find ingredients for gunpowder. Lamont DuPont, who was one of the uh, DuPont Company partners, went on a, a secret mission to Great Britain at the very beginning of the war to secure saltpeter, which is one of the uh, ingredients of gunpowder. That he did that as a representative of the DuPont Company, not letting anyone know that he was actually buying it for the U.S. government. That way the U.S. government would have plenty of saltpeter to help make gunpowder. After Robert E. Lee surrendered on April 9, 1865, people of Brandywine rejoiced, but they also were aware of the costs. You know, Lots of people died during the Civil War, and this was really getting home when Abraham Lincoln was assassinated a few days later, that there was still this dark cloud over this tremendous effort. And so immediately, efforts were started to memorialize and commemorate the dead. And so a few of our items do this, you know, things like a chessboard with some of the key players. Uh, there's a, an autograph album which was uh, collected by a fellow named William A. Lamont, who was a staff officer in Washington, D.C., he was originally from Wilmington right as the war ended, took his book around to try to get the autograph of anybody who was everybody in the United States government and the military. So one thing to notice, the very first page is the signature of Abraham Lincoln, supposedly it was one of the last signatures of the book. The other DuPont family contributor to the war effort was Samuel Francis DuPont. Whenever the Civil War started, he was considered one of the most well-read and knowledgeable officers in the United States Navy. He had been serving since 1815 and took his first naval assignment in 1817. He had fought there, the Barbary Pirates. He had fought in the war with Mexico. He was part of establishing the U.S. Naval Academy in Annapolis and uh, also trying to institute reforms in the U.S. Navy for professionalization and upgrading technology. So whenever the war started, the Navy Department immediately tapped his knowledge. That this flag flew over the city of Wilmington for the entire duration of the war, over the... It was over the William Bush Tannery from 1863, more or less. So one of the reasons it's so carefully displayed and quite dark is because it's very fragile. That was quite a battle that it had to endure to fly for four years over an industrial city during the war. But it was really important to us because it was very important to Wilmington as a symbol and a reminder constantly that Delaware was a union and that we did believe in keeping the country together and that all of the efforts and sacrifices that were being made by the family, by the company, and by the community um, were represented by this.